everyone, and welcome to another exciting rendition of what's happening this week at Wabash High School. I want to start this week by saying that it has been a long haul over the past year. Um, COVID-19 and its repercussions have virtually changed our way of life and how we address how we go about each day. Um, many of the old ways of doing things uh, are gone, probably will never return. Uh, but in many instances, progress has been made, and in different areas, we are far better off than what we were before. Uh, this past Saturday, March 20th, was the first day of spring. Uh, so with all the changes, struggles, and heartaches that we have experienced since March of 2020 and, and when we shut down as a school due to COVID-19, let me be the first to hope and wish the first week of spring 2021 brings to all of you new hope and, and new rejuvenation. Um, we've survived the past year. Things are looking better. And uh, I hope that this spring brings new hope uh, for everyone. So with that saying, just as spring is always a busy time of year outside of school, uh, this first week of the season uh, will be busy inside Wabash High School as well. Um, what do we have going on? Well, Pennies for Patients is going to continue this week, and we will be adding into that Sports Spectacular. This is the 40th year that we have held Sports Spectacular at Wabash High School, and according to many of our alumni, when you talk to them, uh, it is one of their most memorable experiences of their time in, in high school. So each day this week, we will be having events during advisory for those that have signed up. Now, if you did not sign up for the event, you cannot participate, okay? You needed to have signed up. So um, if you have questions about what you are doing, what you cannot do, uh, what you are involved with, what you may not be involved with, what's open, uh, still um, check with Mrs. Oswalt down in her room and she will help you out, okay? Each day's events are going to be during that advisory time period. And then on Friday night at 6 p.m., we will have the main event um, and uh, everything from uh, uh, tug of war, uh, things we've done in the past, tug of war, hungry, hungry hippos, uh, the faculty student uh, basketball game, um, numerous activities are going to go on. So uh, make sure you check those out. Get with Mrs. Oswald, see what you need to do to participate because Sports Spectacular is a large large uh, Wabash High School tradition. And, and as I said, this is the 40th year. So uh, pretty awesome stuff right there. Other events, major events this week that we want to talk about before we get to uh, the calendar. Um, Wednesday, we will be having our spring SAT school day. Okay. More information will be forthcoming on this event, but know that only juniors and, and some certain students will be taking it during this session. So Good luck to all of those, uh, all of those students that are taking it. Um, if you have questions that you're taking, whether or not you're taking it, uh, check with your your guidance counselor. But um, this spring session is for the juniors um, uh, only. So, if you are not taking the SAT, please be mindful when you are in the building, when you are in the hallways, um, that there are those that are taking this this test. Um, please remain quiet, conscious uh, of, of the importance of this test to them and respect uh, that they, they would like some, some quiet hallways and some quiet times to be able to, to take and not have those distractions of, of students yelling through the hallway while they're, while they're trying to take a test. So uh, please be mindful of that. Please be respectful uh, of those people. And um, it should only take uh, up until around. 12, 30, 1 o'clock in the day. So um, with that said, let's look at the calendar. What are, what are the individual events going on this week? Well, as I said, uh, Monday, uh, Pities for Patients will continue. Sports Spectacular will begin its 40th year. Uh, and the Sports Spectacular activity at lunch on Monday is going to be relay races. Uh, so make sure that uh, you're signed up for those uh, if there are still spots. Tuesday, um, we will have uh, our Sports Spectacular activity. This one is going to be Pictionary. 
Um, also during uh, advisory, second advisory, uh, 11.30 a.m., St. Mary's College is going to have a virtual tour. So uh, if you're interested in learning more about St. Mary's, please see your counselor. Um, and then, hey, it's spring, like I said, Tuesday, 5.30 p.m., girls softball scrimmage versus Huntington North uh, there. So um, spring sports season starting off. Um, it's coming. Wednesday uh, is SAT day. There will be no uh, sports spectacular activity on that day. And then at 5.30, boys baseball versus Huntington North uh, at Huntington North. Um, so like I said before, spring sports kicking off, uh, getting ready to go. Thursday, uh, sports spectacular event. Um, Indiana tradition. Uh, we're going to have some cornhole activity going on there. Um, and then Friday, uh, 7 a.m. FCA uh, is going to meet. Um, we'll also have uh, on Friday our uh, Wabash City Schools Ambassadors meeting. This is where uh, the administration of Wabash City Schools meets with a number of community leaders, uh, family members, um, uh, different people. Uh, outside the world of education to discuss how our school operates um, and, and how we do things. And this particular uh, meeting on Friday is going to focus on our pillar for safety and wellness. So um, I tell you this not because you're so much involved in it, but uh, as, as students, we want you to know that, um, you know, safety and wellness comes extre is extremely important to us and comes first in, in everything we do. And we want our, our public uh, community stakeholders to, to know what we do to keep you safe. So um, we'll have that. Sports Spectacular activity at lunch. Uh, we're going to have a scavenger hunt. We're also going to have our first book club meeting of the school year. Um, now that things are kind of slowly getting back to normal, book club is going to meet. Um, 243 Apache Way Pass Recognition. And then, as I said uh, earlier, 6 p.m. Sports Spectacular, the main event. Um, no events Saturday or Sunday. So uh, that's it for, for the week of March 22nd at Wabash High School. Welcome to week number two of the final grading period, the first week of spring. And for those of you who are starting the countdown, there's only nine more days until spring break. So have a great week, everybody. And remember, it's a great time to be an Apache.